Hi everyone, thanks for joining for another function video. Well, today we're going to be looking at index of, but we're going to be starting with a variable flowjo, and then we're going to be using index of to target the j in flowjo string. Now, why would we do this? Well, we want to return a character where j is. Well, we, we're going to get a four back. Now, how do we know this? Because f starts at zero, so if we start at zero and then we count along to j, j is four. Now, why would we actually use this then? If you haven't checked out the substring video yet, have a look at that because what you can do is you can actually pass in the identifying character, the position of a character to get something back. So if we pass in four, we're going to return Joe. We're going to be able to break out Joe from flow Joe. And this is a dynamic way of being able to manipulate strings. So let's actually see this on Power Automate then. Well, we've got an initialized variable here, a string variable of flow Joe, as we've just looked at in our example. And then here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be passing this string variable in and we're also then going to be saying, OK, we want the index of J. So we're going to expect a return of four. And then in our substring, we're going to be passing in a string of flow Joe and then we're going to be passing the return output of index of. So let's actually take this for a test then. Just run our flow. OK, so our flow has run successfully. And as you can see here, we've got our Flowjo uh, string initialized and created. And then we've got our index return. Because remember, f starts at 0. So if we go from 0 to j, it's the character of 4. And then we've got a return of Joe. So we've actually captured the part of the string from the index of that we've actually looked at today. So that's it for index of. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.